Jacob Zuma. What do you know? Black people are poverty personified. They are black people are the embodiment of poverty. You, you can't talk about black people and you separate them from, from, from poverty. The two are almost as intertwined as possible. You know what I'm saying? It's like he, there's no way you can talk about uh, people being in poverty and you don't think of black people. That's why in, in, look, in, 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 look, the countries overseas, whenever they talk about uh, poverty, they will say, don't do this. People in Africa are starving as if they are not starving. But yeah, it's okay. We'll still accept the fact that in Africa, uh, majority of us, we are still starving, right? Uh, so if you are watching us internationally, kindly do us a favor. Uh, donate to the channel. There's a join button. Just join, become a member of this YouTube channel. And uh, uh, Give us a super thanks there. Uh, at least that's the best thing you can do to eliminate poverty because, I mean, in Africa, very the fact is we need that money. Nevertheless, but he, he goes on to describe this thing to say the problem is there are people who are thriving in us being poor. There are people who created this poverty and there are people who are thriving in us being poor. And I thought this discussion, it was fair. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because at some point, I remember it was Robert Hayesoff where he, he, look, he got a serious backlash, right, for uh, certain, for saying certain things. And I have told you guys that there is what we call it, um, it's not, it's fi financial segregation. So I couldn't even, I, I, I couldn't agree more with Jacob Zuma when he says black people are poverty personified. Right, we are the embodiment of poverty. When you talk about poverty, you are just talking about black people in majority. It's a fact that it, it is undeniable. I'm going to tell you some of the stories that uh, I, I once spoke about this, but let me also remind you in context to what Uzuma said. Right, but before I take, before I go deeper into this, there's something that I'm definitely sure. If you were to do it, you'll be the best person ever. Come on. Do the following. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also guys wanna buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed right do you remember that i spoke about uh, this thing called financial segregation where if you are black there are opportunities that you would never get because you are black and i gave you an example i once worked in a certain company that manufactured sweets in wadeville Got an opportunity to work there. Uh, we were busy working and we knew what we were doing. A white man was introduced to the company. This white man was completely uneducated. Completely. Like, he did not attend school. Grade one, two, nothing. We taught him the work. We taught him how things are done in the company. That man, in after learning the job, he became the supervisor. He is to super. He was, he was now supervising us. Guess his starting salary, eighteen thousand. Mind you, the man has never been to school, primary, high school, nothing. But is supervising people who've got degrees, who are earning four thousand, five thousand rand a month. When we say. Black people are po poverty personified. We are not necessarily say sometimes we choose poverty, but sometimes this system creates poverty. It creates poverty amongst black people. But before I proceed anywhere further, take a look at what Jacob Zuma said here. 
sitholi nkule ke phelela kwenzeka ke lokho kule nto abane ngabakubiza ngokuthi kwakuyikhodesha ninge ke imningi imininingwane yakhona engeke ngangena kuyo kodwa kubalekile ukuthi sangena sinethemba lokuthi lo government of national unity wezi wezizwe zonke ihlangene ozoba khona iminyaka emhlanu wendlala uqansi noma isikhumba sokuthi siqhubekeke manje uyofana ukuthi ngemva kwalokho ebe sesiyaphatha njenge njenge iqembu kulapho ke sesiyokukhuluma khona yonke into esiyifunayo silethe imithetho efunwa yithi ilokho ke ngabange kusenzeka lokho kusenze ukuthi sesifikela esesifike khona sifikela hayi ngoba sithanda ukuthi sakhe umkhonto wesizwe silethwe ukuhlupheka nakubukelwa phansi ngayo yonke indlela oyicaba ngayo kulelizwe uma sikhuluma ngokuthi abantu abaqashegi bathi ke phecelezi ukuthi wayini konje ukuthi waye unwat eh unemployment uma sikhuluma ngayo unemployment ukukhuluma ngendlela emnyama akekho omunye ukukhuluma ngayo uma sikhuluma ngabantu abahlala emkhukhwini yithi akekho kolunye uhlobo ohlala esikhukhwini uma sikhuluma ngomuntu ohlala noma imaphi lapho kuthiwa kusemakhaya khona uyaphoqeleka ukuthi uma ufuna umsebenzi ahamba ekude ungasuka kwela kina enkandla noma kumaphi uye goli ufike uholi malengane kwezo kufanda uzondla ula pegoli uphinde futhi uondle nabantwana lapha egoli bobo mosi uhlele lapha wazi ukuhlala wedwa ebe se futhi uphinde uyokondla ekhaya umuntu omnyama kuphela onjalo akekho munye bonke ozonke ezinye inhlanga zihlala ndawonye zonke awukho muzi ohlala odwa nje njenge yethu lapho hamba khona ingane yakho izikhohlo ukuthi uma ungena icaba ngokuthi winono ngoba ikwazi ibaleke icashe ngoma okay all right so i'm saying there are system in place that create poverty and i know i'm repeating myself but reputation is a godly principle so i better do it let me tell you this eh uh, how best can i say this how best can i say this i have said this now that this white people are creating poverty among black, amongst black people the other time i said in cape town you can never buy a house in cape town uh, there are places where you will not you will not be allowed to buy a house on there are places where even if you qualified even if the, let's say they say for you to rent this apartment you need a net income of 15000 but for the mere fact that you are black you will never get that apartment even if when you are earning a net income of 35000 and the qualifying salary is 15000 for the fact that you are black you will never be allowed but at some point also we need to talk about the self inflicted poverty as black people because we can't run away from that fact as well and that is You know I I I worry I worry. You know you must check during metric dance. I lo I in one park a park one. I visited Sluma Park somewhere in Katlehom. That park it was metric dance. The alcohol that was there it was over half a million. And I asked myself this is just the only park I've been into. There are parks that I've never been into. And I asked myself 
Where do black people get money so much that they can buy alcohol? In a day, they can afford to buy alcohol above half a million. What happened to investing in ourselves? I'm not saying people shouldn't drink alcohol. Alcohol, not that I drink alcohol, but I'm saying people must be responsible in how they do things. They must also remember their situation. You can't invest. You can't invest in alcohol because there's no return investment in alcohol. Like let's 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 be, let's face it. So things like that. I kind of I, I said to myself, you know, if you're looking at the money that these people are spending here, if I were to take half of it and I invest it on their behalf, a year later some of them will probably be uh, will probably worth hundred thousand or above, right? There are a lot of things that we can do if we were to understand that you know what, out of five thousand rand that I have, I can because I'm bla I'm I'm a black person, I can only afford to eat one thousand and invest the four thousand so that I can catch up. It's gonna take time for us to catch up with white people. It's a fact, but it also takes intentions to do so. And my problem is that with black people, there's a lack of intentions. We are not intentional about the little money that they get, they get, they give us. I'm saying China was colonized, uh, was colonized. Yes, like anybody else. But China today is a superpower country. They use colo the, the, the colonial um, thing, material to their to, to better themselves today, they are a superpower. They are a superpower, a force to reckon with. You can't play with China. Even America is scared of China. You can't. But they were once colonized like everybody else. It took the. I'm not saying people shouldn't enjoy themselves. I'm not people. I'm not saying people should not enjoy their hard end cash. But there was this thing called Scotana being Scotana at some point. I once met a parent who was working, who was a domestic worker. That parent did not mind buying clothing up to 10,000 rand. It was, she was even bragging that I bought my son clothing worth 10,000 rand. But you're looking at the house they are sleeping in and you're like, come on, wouldn't you invest this money better? You can't be wearing an outfit. Guys, um, okay, maybe now life might be better. We are able to buy expensive suits. But but we, we did not start by, by buying those expensive suits. We started by investing in ourselves first. You buy shares. You, buy, you know, The problem with us black people is that there is this problem of being uh of, of being uh look of being colonial colonial English data. Hey, she wanted today English data and balegi. There's a problem of colonization in, in uh, right? We don't we don't disagree with the effect of colonization, but we are also saying you can use right now. There's no reason for people to be broke, to be quite honest, because information is there. You can learn that information for free. We as black people, naughty, we are playing a part in being poverty personified because we don't take the time to now say. Yeah, we are being, we are enslaved. We, 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 we are being enslaved, even now, as of as of us talking right now. But we are going to use the very same system to better ourselves and come out of this in, look, enslavement. So I'm saying, I agree with Jacob Zuma, 110% in agreement. But I'm saying, we better think, look, how best can I say this? We better change also how we think of ourselves. Yes, I agree. The system is against us, but let's change the way we think.